So this is the most power dense production uh, uh, powertrain internal combustion engine ever designed and built. It's designed and built by Zinger as well. It has a, an output of 998 horsepower with the two EV motors up front. The total horsepower is a little under 1400 uh, horsepower. When you look at this engine bay and you understand really that this is from the cross brace here, the rear frame to the exhaust system, a perfectly Pareto optimized structure, meaning there is not a single gram more material on that structure today than you need. This car symbolizes the transition from a built world, like physically human built world that's analog, to a completely new, much more efficient world, a world that is much more in harmony with nature because it minimizes material and energy use, maximizes the efficiency of the product by making it much lighter while being just as safe and higher performing so it uses less fuel and other resources. And all of the structures that we print are made of materials that are completely recyclable. We came onto this idea of, okay, we can engineer a part more efficiently because we have computational power. We're not making full use of it in auto today, but it exists. We can compute many variables you know, using machine learning and AI to actually optimize and create the perfect efficient structure. Look at this part, for example. You know, this is one from our rear uh, subframe for the 21C. Typically, you would cast this part. You wouldn't 3D print this part. This is a fully printed part. If you were casting this part, you could never have these natural geometries. You could never have these internal geometries. So in the end, you would be creating a part that's much heavier and is actually not perfectly optimized for its load cases. Not only would it be heavier, but if you wanted to change that part, you'd have to make a new casting mold. So re-engineer your entire casting mold just to make one design change. In our process, we just re-optimize with the software, we print it on our 3D printers in metal, perfectly optimized, wasting no material. And if you wanna make a design change, within days we can have a new part to you. And then the final part is democratization. If someone no longer needs to spend money to design something and then they'll need a, to build a factory to manufacture it, but they can simply have a set of tools that allow them to design anywhere on the planet, and then the facility to do that is digital, and they can just send their design and have it printed and assembled, then you're democratizing the ability of people to create. And so the end vision is have a built world that's digitized so that it can become much more material and energy efficient. Therefore, it becomes environmentally sustainable. And then creating a permanent localized community of creation. People then design locally, manufacture locally, use locally, and the materials flow locally.